Hi friends, welcome to the class of design and analysis of algorithms. Next, coming to the concepts of graphs. We'll go to the concept of graphs. We'll see the basic definition and uh, we'll go for traversal methods also. So basically, what is the definition of a graph? We'll see here. So a graph G consisting of a set of vertices and a set of edges. We'll write this as G of V comma I. Of course, we know the basics of this. We'll, we'll take one example. Let us see this side. Okay. So I can say it has a graph where it consisting of vertices. How many number of vertices are there? Totally seven vertices are there. Then we'll have edges. E, e means edges. So one to two. That means one edge in the sense what? It is a connection of two vertices. So for each edge, two ends will be two vertices. So like this, I can say it is it has one edge. If you see here, one to two, it is one edge, two to three one more edge like this you have a number of edges here uh, we write graph g equals to v comma i v means set of vertices and e means set of edges combinedly you call it as a graph v and v is a finite and non-empty set of vertices of course e is a pair of vertices that means edges v of g means you call it as this anyway this is some theory part and an edge e equals to v comma w means two pair of vertices combinedly if there is a connection you can say that it is an edge like this let us take 1 to 2 it is an edge and there is no direct connection from 1 to 7 that means you can assume that there is no path direct path from 1 to 7 if you want to go from 1 to 7 you can start from 1 and go to 2 then go to 7 or else you can have some other path also like this or else you can go like this so this is something like representation of a graph you can say it has uh, some cities and uh, their paths highway sections how they are connected so you can say that is also one real time example of this. So points as cities and edges as highway paths. Okay, I like this. And how graph traversal techniques are there? So what are the graph traversal techniques? Here you have two techniques. The one is depth first search and other one breadth first search. So we'll go one by one. What is this depth first search and breadth first search? So coming to depth first search. So let us suppose if I take this is a graph how depth first search will follow so listen carefully this one how this depth first search procedure will work take one node from that you need to traverse you need to take the adjacents you need to consider only adjacents of a node so let us take if i take the node one what are the adjacents of node one which are directly connected to node one those vertices you call them as adjacent nodes so for one the adjacent nodes are two and six so those two are directly connected you select one among all the adjacent nodes so now between two and six i'll select any one node let us take two so i need to connect that first now which node is connected you need to take now that node as our node and for that you find the what are the adjacents so what are the adjacents for two of course one seven three three are there for one, I already connected. So seven and three are there. You select any one. So let us suppose if I select seven. So like this you will get it. Now from seven, what are the adjacents? So adjacents are two, five, four. It's not six. Why? Because there is no direct connection. So among two, five, four. Among two, five, four. I'll take any one. Already two is connected. I'll take, let us suppose five I'll take. Now from 5, what are the adjacents? 6 is there, 7 is there, 4 is there. So 6 is not connected, 4 is also not connected. So I'll select any one. So I'll select 6. Now from 6, what are the adjacents? See, care must be taken that whenever you connect, there should not be any cycle. Why? Because your source is graph and the destination is tree. Tree never have any cycle. That also one more point we need to remember. So from 6, what are the adjacents if I ask? So 5 is a 1 adjacent, 1 is a another adjacent. But if I take 1, 5 is connected, 1 is if I take, you will get cycle here. This totally a cycle. So that's why I cannot connect 6. So all the adjacents are over. Now you need to come back. You need to come back. And what is the previous edge, previous vertex? 5. So 5 I need to take. What are the adjacents of 5 we have taken? 7, 6 we have taken, 4 we have not yet taken. So 
now you need to take 4 so like this you need to connect and for 4 again you need to consider so for 4 4 to 5 is over 7 you have not connected but if I connect 7 you will get cycle 4 to 3 not yet connected so like this you need to connect now all the vertices are connected anyway you can check it out for 3 also 4 connected and uh, 2 not connected but if I connect cycle will come backtrack 4 all are connected 5 all are connected backtrack 7 of course 7 to 4 if you connect cycle and again backtrack 2 2 to 3 if I connect cycle and again coming to our source 1 1 to 6 if I connect cycle so like this it will proceed so this is you call it as depth first search method so we'll see algorithmic procedure also here now dfs of v v means initial vertex here i'll take initially i'll trace this with whatever we have taken now v equals to one of course it's undirected graph there is no cost here with n vertices and array visited of is initially set to zero now visited of i'm taking it as an array visited of one two three four how many are there totally seven are there no? so instead of i the values are or i am taking as zero why because initially i am taking zero means if it represents zero instead of some vertex represent zero means it is not yet visited the meaning if the value is changed to one means yes that vertex is visited that is a logic we are following here this algorithm visits all the vertices reachable from v anyway we are taking some global array here that is a visited of is a global array this is missed here yeah visited of v equals to 1 initially that means you are taking initial vertex no so that's why visited of v equals to 1 here now the thing is 1 i have taken for each vertex w adjacent from v now what will be the w values so all adjacents of v that means we have taken 2 comma 6 2 adjacents are there now w values are 2 comma 6 you need to select any one first if instead of w is 0 let us suppose if i take w is 2 so w is 2 if i select is 0 only no so now dfs of w now you need to go for the recursive processor w now dfs of you need to go for dfs of 2 previously it is dfs of 1 now dfs of 2 now v value will become 2 what will be the w that means again coming to here instead of v instead of 2 you make it as 1 now for each vertex w adjacent to v now what is v value 2 adjacent of 2 you can take here 1 7 3 from 1 7 3 what you need to select instead of w is 0 only you need to select but what is instead of 1 1 so i cannot select this Visit of 7, 0, I can select. Visit of 3, 0, I can select. Among these two, what I have selected 7, no? So, I'll select 7 here. So, if I select 7, it becomes DFS of 7. Now, V value will become 7. Now, if V is 7, what is W? Adjacence of 7. So, adjacence of 7, you will get it as 2, 5, 4, that's it so 2 what is instead of 2 1 that's why i cannot select now instead of 5 0 i can select so now it goes here then dfs of 5 i can take it as so now v will become 5 now w adjacent of 5 adjacent of 5 you can take it as 7 6 4 so 764 7 is already visited that is visited of 7 and here you need to make it as 1 we forgot it and uh, then that's it now for v equals to 5 if i take visited of 5 is also 1 that means it is already visited next what is the next one adjacent of w i need to select either 6 or 4 i have selected 6 so now dfs of 6 so now v will become 6 now visited of 6 will become 1 now w adjacent of 
6 that will become 1 and 5 see which set of 1 is 1 5 is also 1 now there is no node so here in this loop it satisfies all those two constraints which are visited so if visited of w is false that's why all w values are traced now what you need to do we need to go back and check for what is v equals to 5 what are the adjacents 7 6 already visited what is visited of 4 0 now you have to visit that now dfs of 4 so i visited dfs of 4 so we will become 4 now visited of 4 is 1 see like this up to all the visited of values should be 1 then only i can say that all the vertices are visited so now w is equals to adjacence of 4 if you consider adjacence of 4 you have values like 5 7 and 3 5 visited 7 visited that is visited of 5 is 1 visited of 7 is 1 so that is a condition false so only the condition true for 3 so now you need to consider dfs of 3 now we will become 3 so visited of 3 is also 1 now adjacence of 3 what are the adjacence of 3 4 comma 2 if you take 4 comma 2 visited of 4 is 1 2 is 1 so all 2 are visited now go back back means v value 4 all visited now go back 6 all visited now go back 5 all visited now go back 7 2 is visited 5 and 4 are not visited but if you take visited of 5 1 not satisfied visited of 4 1 not satisfied now go back visited of v equals to 2 what are the values you visited 1 and 7 remaining is 3 but what is visited of 3 that is 1 so not satisfied now go back all are over so adjacence of 1 2 and 6 6 what is visited of 6 again 1 so like this it will go and loop will exit so this is the process happens in depth first sets so once again if you quickly review this one so in depth first search the traversal will begin from a node and search for adjacent vertices and among it will select one vertex among all the adjacent vertices and it will connect then from that vertex only again checking one of the adjacent vertices like this it will follow until all vertices are visited and also there should not be any cycle to be formed so these are the rules and this is depth of search method